All right, Mimi, thank you. Well, today, 13 Investigates is going to answer a question we've all been asking for years. Why do gas prices jump so suddenly overnight? Yeah, and the answer really isn't something you might expect. Our senior investigative reporter, Bob Siegel, is live this morning exposing the pricing strategy many gas stations don't want to talk about. Bob, good morning. Good morning. You know, we've all seen it. Gas prices seem pretty low in the morning when we head to work. And then by the time we head home, boom, they jump up 30, 40 cents or more. That's what happened at this gas station and other gas stations all over central Indiana last Tuesday. Those gas prices shot up, even though the price of crude oil went down. So what's going on here? Well, the truth is frustrating, but it's also fascinating. And once you understand how the system works, you probably won't look at gas prices the same way ever again. As Hoosier motorists have been pumping, 13 Investigates has been watching for months, closely monitoring a phenomenon that drives us all crazy. Beyond crazy? It's terrible. I think it's price gouging. One moment, the price of gas at this Camby gas station is $1.81, and just a few minutes later, it's two thirty-five. dollars a 53 cent increase that caught most everyone by surprise. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know how to explain that. I don't see a reason why this is happening. It happens because gas stations are playing a game, not with you, but with each other. They're fiercely competing for your business. So gas stations constantly drop their prices a few pennies at a time to try to beat their competition across the street. After a week or two of dropping prices, then comes the big increase according to petroleum analyst Patrick DeHaan. It's a really, really slow game of undercutting each other in which uh, one guy always wants to have the lower price and it takes a week or so for those stations to, uh, to drop their price so low let, that they're losing money and then somebody will wave the white flag and they'll both raise their price again. That's when we see those big spikes at the pump. It happens around here on average every 12 days. And Indiana is one of the only places in the whole country where this occurs. Seems frustrating, but the price cycles can actually be great for customers. Before each big price jump, many gas stations are selling you gas at or even below cost. That can save you hundreds of dollars each year, if you understand how and when it happens. Later today, I'm going to show you how to actually beat the gas stations at their own game and save a lot of money. It's surprisingly easy. I'll show you how when my investigation continues coming up tonight at 6 o'clock here on 13 Eyewitness News. Back to you in the studio. All right. Yeah, very interesting indeed. Yeah. We'll be watching. Bob, thanks. That. All right. Well,